Hey guys, welcome to the free training on how to get started marketing and mindset. This is going to be about how to get started in real estate and how to get started investing and flipping and wholesaling and, and doing all the great, awesome things that we love to do when it comes to investing in real estate. So it is six o'clock on the dot. It looks like we're going to just give it one or two minutes and let the room fill up. If you guys are here, do me a favor. Drop a comment. Let me know two things. Number one, that you can hear me and see me. I'm going to make sure that uh, my microphone and camera are working. And then number two, guys, tell me where you're watching from today. I'm always curious to learn where you guys are at in terms of the country, what city, what state. And um, if you want some bonus points, let me know if you've done a deal or not as well. I'm always curious to see if the audience is you know, brand new or if they've done some deals. I'd assuming due to the content of this webinar here today, this free training, you guys are gonna mostly be new, but um, always just curious guys. So again, drop that in, let me know you can hear me, let me know where you're from, and let me know if you've done any deals or not. We will get started here guys in just one moment. But before we do, I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Right, so learning how to do this. Jeff says, I can hear you. I've not done any deals, and I am from Mountain Laurel, New Jersey. All right, cool, Jeff. I'm glad to have you here, buddy. And uh, we got another comment from Bob, same cam and audio working, uh, but since she's a, a little off, not too bad though. NSTL, or no, 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 NSTL slash St. Charles. Oh, yeah, good deal. No deals yet. All right, Bob, good deal, buddy. Glad to have you. Uh, here from Lions Bay, BC, do my first deal right now. And that's Jake. Hell yeah. Jake is doing his first deal right now. We love to hear that. All right, guys, you can hear me. It sounds like you guys can see me, which is good. And we're going to go ahead and jump on in. So, guys, today's free training, we're going to keep this short. This will probably only take about maybe 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. Uh, but I want to talk about what it takes to get started and why a lot of people fail in this business and why a lot of people you know don't have success and what you guys can do to prevent that and to have success and start doing deals you know so on and so forth so let me share my screen and i want to just give you guys a couple slides very very simple very basic but this will definitely help uh, let's see here. Let's share the screen. We'll go to a Chrome tab. We'll do this five steps. This is a good one here. We'll share this. All right, guys. So before we begin, I'm David Dodge. I am the discount property investor. Whoops. We're going too fast here. And uh, if you don't already know who I am, we're just going to do a quick one minute demo here, guys. Uh, again, David Dodge, the discount property investor. I'm a St. Louis local and native guy. I invest here in St. Louis. I buy about 100 houses a year with my team. Currently own about 90 rental properties. I've closed over 700 wholesale deals. I love to wholesale. I love to buy rental properties. Uh, typically have anywhere from five to 10 projects going at any given time, sometimes even more. Um, I truly love teaching people how simple it is to flip houses and how it is simple it is to get started in this business. So guys, go follow me over on IG, David Allen Dodge. And that is a great place to uh, to get more content. Here's a map right here of a bunch of deals that I've done in my area. So I do deals in the north side. I do deals in the south side, on the west side. I do some in Illinois even, and uh, you know, all over my local market. So that's just a little bit about me, guys. So the mindset piece is really what I want to talk about next, and then we're going to jump into the marketing. So here's the thing. When you want to get started flipping houses, you need to understand a couple simple, really, really basic principles. All right. So again, me and my business partner and our team, we buy about a hundred houses a year. Here's a cool fact. We only buy maybe between three and five houses a year on the market. 
on the MLS listed with a local real estate agent or broker. Again, we do about a hundred, right? So what that means is 95 to you know 97% of all the deals that we find and buy to wholesale, to fix and flip, to you know add to the rental portfolio potentially or possibly or hopefully using the Burr method, right? All these different options, but 95 to 97% of those deals come direct to seller. They're not listed on the MLS. They are not, you know, being represented by a local agent or a local broker. They are direct. So we do a lot of marketing to find these people. All right. So number one thing that you need to understand if you want to get into real estate investing, um, assuming that you want to do it the right way, you want to do it fast, you don't want it to take forever and you want to make more money, you need to learn that this is a marketing business. Like that's literally lesson number one. This is a marketing business. So you need to understand how to market. And at the end of the day, all roads typically lead to a phone call. Either I'm going to call a, a property owner, you know, a potential seller and ask and see if they're interested in selling, or they're going to get some marketing message from me and or my company that says, hey, we can help you if you have a problem property, call us. And, you know, that could come from my website, SEO, pay-per-click, radio ads, bandit signs, uh, direct mail marketing, cold call, cold text, to name a few. And we'll get into the marketing here in a minute. But you need to understand this is a marketing business before it's any other business. And in order to do marketing, you need to have time or money, often and. But essentially, you either need to buy the marketing, you need to pay for it, so your phone starts ringing or you can trade your time and it just might not cost any money at all or very little in this case, but you're going to spend time knocking on doors, calling people that own properties, putting out bandit signs or doing the marketing that way. Right. So it's one or the other. So, you know, people that don't have any time at all, that's OK. They can still do this business. They can still become an investor. They can still flip houses. But they're going to need to have a marketing budget that they can allocate so that way they can get their phone to ring. Now, those people that don't have you know money to spend, very little money or even in no money in some cases, they can still do this business too. It's still very, very possible, but they are gonna need to spend their time, right? So that's really what it comes down to. Lesson number one, guys, this is a marketing business and it's either going to cost you money or it's going to cost you time. If you don't have either time or money, then you need to get really creative and you need to find joint venture partners. And there's lots of ways to go about doing that, of course, but that's really, you know, not so much for the beginner. That's really more so for somebody that, you know, already has a business up and running. So number one, this is a marketing business. Looks like we got um, Richmond, Virginia here as well. Welcome, welcome, glad to have you. Okay, number two, right? You gotta get rid of any type of scarcity mindset that you may have. And what I mean by this is there are a lot of people out here investing, but just because there's a lot of people out here investing and just because there may be some competition in some markets, maybe a little in, in some markets, maybe a lot in some markets, it doesn't matter. There's plenty out here for everyone. So you got to eliminate the scarcity mindset right away, because if you go in thinking that you may fail or that that this may not work, you're gonna fail. I'm gonna tell you right now. You gotta go in saying, hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna stop until I get that first deal or until I start doing the number of deals a month that I wanna do. Oh, and by the way, one of my students got a $10,000 wholesale deal today. Really, really cool, really, really cool. And stick around to the end and I'll give you some contracts. You got it, no problem. Um, so yeah, really happy for my student. Uh, Jack got his first deal under contract to sell today. He's going to make about 10K and uh, we're real excited for Jack. He's going to be doing lots and lots more of these. So guys, you got to understand though that there's lots and lots out here for everybody and really stop thinking about your competitors as competitors. The other investors in my marketplace are my strategic partners. Think about this. They're people that I can learn from. They're people that I can watch and start getting emails and, and text messages from. I'm going to follow them on social media and see what they're doing. 
And I'm just going to do similar things to what they do. And at this point, people do similar things to what I do because I'm an experienced investor as well. All right. So no competitors. All right. Nobody is your competitor. Instead, reframe the way you think. Get rid of this scarcity mindset and take on more of an abundance mindset. All these other investors can teach you. They can, you can piggyback off of what they're doing. You can learn from them. You can partner with them. You can ask them to be your mentor. And in some cases, you can hire these other local people to be your coach. But regardless, they may have a buyer for one of your deals down the road. You may have a buyer for one of their deals down the road. Maybe you want to buy a deal from them. Maybe they want to sell you a deal. Everybody that's in this space is a strategic partner. So stop with this scarcity mindset, all right? Focus your energies on good and on positive. And anybody else that you see in the space should be somebody that you want to get to know and build a relationship and make them a strategic partner. So you just don't overthink this, guys. It's so simple. So number one, this is a marketing business. Number two, there's plenty out there for everybody. Have an abundant mindset. All right. And that's really all it comes down to. The third and final thing on the mindset that I just want to touch on is, you know, learning how to do this business the right way is not only going to make it more ethical for you, you're going to help more people, you're going to make more money, but you'll also understand that when you are just trying to help a seller and you put a property under contract and you do everything in your power to help that seller, and you aren't able to help that seller and you have to exit your agreement, no harm, no foul. As long as you are doing everything you can to help and you you know, tell a seller that you can buy the property at this price, but you're not able to find the partner, you're not able to line up the financing and you have to back out of the deal. You got to understand that you still gave it your all and you did what you could to try to help somebody. So it's not the end of the world. In fact, I have sellers often say, Hey, I'm not even upset at all. You tried really, really hard. What would you think about me giving you a better price? And I say, hey, give me another week or two and I'll try again. And guess what? You don't have to pay me any money for me to try to help you. I only get paid if I'm able to buy this property. Maybe I'm going to keep it. Maybe I'm going to wholesale it. Maybe I'm going to fix and flip it. It doesn't matter. So the third and final thing on mindset is don't be afraid to put a property under contract, especially if you don't have any money. Because you're going to do everything in your power to go find somebody who does to sell it to or to partner with them. Remember a minute ago, I was talking about those competitors. Well, maybe you can find one of those competitors and make them your strategic partner and sell a deal to them. Ever thought about that? Right? So there's lots and lots of ways to get creative in this business, but never be afraid to send an offer because your intentions should be good. You are trying to help this motivated seller get rid of a property or a problem or oftentimes both at the same time. So that really sums up the, the, the mindset side of things, guys. This is, the, this is what I tell all of my students, right? Whenever they, they join, right? Number one, this is a marketing business. What's your plan? You may help you put one together, but you either dedicate time or money and often both. So pick one and then pick a marketing method, which we're going to jump into in just a minute to start marketing. And all that that means is you're going to ring people's phones or you're going to put your message out there so they ring your phone, period. That's it. Don't overthink it. Number two, get rid of that scarcity mindset, guys. Have an abundant mindset. No, there's plenty of food out there for everybody to eat and there is no competitors. There's just strategic partners. Number three, don't be afraid to put a property under contract because your intentions should be good. You are trying to help. All right. And this should help eliminate some fear and it should help you guys understand what you need to do and what you need to start doing, which leads me to my next point, marketing. That's what you got to start doing because that's what this business is. It's a marketing business. So pick a marketing method and start. So I mentioned a few a minute ago, cold call, cold text seem to be the most popular because they're the most cost effective, right? You can do this from your cell phone. You can uh, you can get an auto dialer if you want. You can use Google voice numbers. You can use a, 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 a phone number from like a CRM, like, you know, Ari Simply, Ari, Ari at Black Book, Podio, whatever, right? You can use these different CRMs as well. And you can, you know, connect with people via phone and text. We also do a lot of other things to market our business. 
So when it comes to marketing, it's time or money. Cold call doesn't necessarily cost you any money. You may have to spend some money to get the leads or to skip trace those leads, but then it's time that you have to spend on the phone calling or texting these individuals to see if they are interested. In fact, I just sent some students today, earlier today, uh, some screenshots of some of the marketing that me and my team have done in the last couple of weeks. And I'll share that with you guys in just a moment. So some of the other marketing methods, guys, network, all right, go to the local RIA clubs, get on meetup.com, get on Facebook, local groups, find where the other real estate investors are getting together. Where are they hanging out? Where are they meeting? Go meet them. Learn who the other people in your market are so you can know who your strategic partners will be, can be, and should be at some point. Next, we have a couple different types of marketing like um, for example, direct mail is a good is a good place to market. I like to drive for dollars and then mail those leads. So driving for dollars is just a way to collect and capture leads. We're going to go out, we're going to drive around, we're going to look for properties that have boarded up windows or tarps on the roofs or really overgrown bushes and grass or peeling paint, you know, broken down cars in the driveway, whatever um, that's going to basically tell us that there's some some sort of distress situation going on. Like, why is this property not being taken care of? Well, it's either that the owner doesn't know that it's not being taken care of, or they don't have the financial means to take care of it, all right? So driving for dollars is a good way. Direct mail is another great way. Bandit signs can be a cheap way for somebody that does, doesn't have a ton of money to start. In fact, if you buy things online from Amazon, you get cardboard boxes sent to you all day long. Turn a cardboard box into a bandit sign or go to your local sign shop or go online to like dirt cheap signs or something like that and buy some and just have them shipped to you. And you can throw those in the in the in the ground or you can staple those to telephone poles or use zip ties and put them on stoplights. But you got to get your message out there. You got to tell people that you're looking to buy houses and to call you at your number. OK, so cold call, cold text, direct mail, driving for dollars, bandit signs. You know, you could build a simple little website for six or eight bucks on GoDaddy and you can market that website to people. You could create a pay-per-click Google campaign. You could go and you could get on the radio. In fact, I just got off the phone this morning with a local radio station that I'm going to be putting some ads on. I've been on and off the radio for years and I love the radio because I can afford to you know, pay to get my phone to ring. Now I'm also ringing other people's phones and I have a team of people that are helping me ring a lot of people's phones. But again, it's time or money and we do both. And I encourage my students to do both, you know, spend some time with the outreach, maybe go drive for dollars, knock on some doors, track down some property owners, do some cold call, do some cold text, but also do some things to get your phone to ring too. Because ideally as you graduate, from beginner to novice and novice to experienced expert, you shouldn't have to be reaching out as much. You should have marketing that gets people to reach out to you. It's a good way to automate this business. Another great way to do it, guys, is to hire help. Bring in a local assistant or a virtual assistant. I love virtual assistants. I have several virtual assistants. I think I have seven right now. And they will help cold call and cold text and answer phones and follow up on your behalf. And you can either pay them hourly or you can decide whatever makes sense for you and them. So it's time or money, guys, when it comes to marketing. But that's what this business is. It's a marketing business. Now, in the beginning here, after I introduced myself, I told you guys that my partner, Mike, and I, our business, we buy about 100 houses a year. And we only get, you know, or we, I should say we get, not only, we get three to five. I'm lucky for those three to five. Let's be honest that I get on the MLS, but that's it. The rest of these deals are coming direct to seller marketing. Now we're looking to buy properties at deep discounts here, guys. If we're going to wholesale a deal, let's just do a quick exercise. I'm, I'm a landlord. I'm a real estate investor um, that does fix and flips, landlording and wholesale. I do all three and more. All right. So I want you guys to put yourself in my shoes for a minute. And this is how I look at deals that wholesalers send me, all right? If somebody goes out and they find a property and they can get this property at, let's say, 70 cents on the dollar minus the cost of the repairs. 
and they market it to me at 80 cents on the dollar minus the cost of repairs. And let's say that the difference there is $10,000, just like my student Jack did today. Okay. And I vet that property. I look at that deal and I say, Hey, this is great. You know, you're, you're going to give me a deal that you spent your time and money and your marketing efforts to generate. You're going to send it to me, but you're going to leave some meat on the bone. Fantastic. I want to buy this deal. When can we close? And what that ultimately did for that wholesaler is it allowed him to make $10,000 because he left meat on the bone, he or she. All right. So when we're wholesaling a deal, we have to get it at a great deal. We got to get it super low, essentially. Look at it like this, because we're going to get it at a great deal and we're going to sell it to Dave or any other real estate investor at a good deal. We can't price gouge it too high because nobody's going to want to buy it if it's not a good deal already. So wholesalers are really not doing any much more than finding great deals and offering them to investors at good deals. And they're making that spread in the middle, guys. And hopefully that spread is 10, 20, 30. I mean, we've even done six-figure deals. I've done three six-figure deals to date, uh, wholesale deals, with little to no money out of pocket to get into these deals. So this is a marketing business. You need to learn how to market directly to sellers. Yeah, you may find one or two deals on the MLS over the course of a year, right? But it is almost impossible. I say almost because there are people that can do this, but it's just so hard and so and so minimal. But get a deal off the MLS and then wholesale it to another investor. Everybody sees that it's listed on the MLS and everybody sees the asking price. And if you got it way below that, they can basically, you know, still see that it's there. They also don't like the fact that the data is public because if they go to fix and flip that house or if they go, you know, to rent that property and try to get it appraised, the buyer or the appraiser, the bank, they're going to see that it was listed too. So most investors prefer to buy off market direct to seller or from a wholesaler who got it off market direct to seller. So hopefully this is connecting some dots for you guys that are new to the business. So this is really just about how to get started today, guys. We're approaching the 25 minute mark. I told you guys we were gonna keep it short and sweet today. I'm more than happy to open up um, it for Q and A for the next you know, 10, 15 minutes. But before we do guys, I wanna give you guys a special offer. I'm gonna share my screen one more time. We're gonna go over to, oh, let's see here. Let's go to the window, that's better. And we are going to go to a bonus that I want to give you guys for attending today. So I have a brand new real estate coaching program. It's called, it's called the Affordable Real Estate Coaching. And we actually have a, a good domain that we've just put together. We're going to be building this out more and more, but it's already live. And it's called Affordable REI. Now, I charge five, ten, even $15,000 to coach people. And it's worth every penny of that coaching. Look at the student today who just got his first deal. He's been in my program for maybe six weeks. He's going to make $10,000, all right? And what? And he's actually a mastermind member of my group. But what I want to do is I want to be able to help more people. I want to train more people and teach more people about how they can get, in, you know, get involved and get started and you know, get their first deal too. So guys, for less than $100, I have an offer for you guys today. I'm going to give you all the contracts and paperwork, all the training videos and call scripts, access to multiple courses, wholesale courses, marketing courses, deal finding courses, and we even do weekly group coaching calls in the evening. Basically, everything you guys are going to need to get started. Uh, some of the deals, some of the courses that we have is the five steps. There's 50 plus ways to find off market deals. We have a bandit sign course. We actually have an archive of all the coaching calls that we do. We have a credibility packet success course, a driving for dollars course, a real estate data course. Oop, I'm clicking around here too fast. We have an ebook for you guys, and we even give you access to a course on trust, which is a little bit more of advanced, but I just want to give you guys as much value as I can. And we even have the ultimate wholesaling course included in this package, guys. Now, this is an ultimate deal. It is called Affordable REI. And basically, I want you guys to learn how to start flipping deals. I don't want to charge you guys five or ten or fifteen thousand dollars because I know a lot of people can't afford this. And I have a goal just to help a thousand people 
do their first deal. I've probably helped about 80 or 90 people do their first deal at this point in time, but I want to help a thousand people. And I know it's going to be difficult to find a thousand people that can pay me $10,000. So literally for less than a hundred dollars a month, you guys can join a group. We can get together and I can help you get your first deal. You get course access. We have a private community and we do calls usually anywhere from three to four times a month, basically about weekly. And again, this is just something that I want to do because I want to make it more affordable for people. So guys, I do appreciate you. I'm going to drop this into the comments area. If you guys are ready, let me know. We can get this set up. And I'm going to basically start charging about three to $500 to join and then $100 a month once we get this set up, which you know is, is not 100% complete today. The courses are. You can jump into those. Uh, but the actual program is going to be set up in the next one to two weeks. And um, right now, if you guys join, there's no fee to join. There's no sign up fee, which I'm debating is going to probably be somewhere between three and 500 to join and then 100 bucks a month. So guys, if you guys want to join today, you I will waive that fee because I don't even have it set up and you guys can literally get access to all those courses, get access to the uh, private community, which we just have an awesome group over on Facebook. Everybody can ask their questions, you know, get help with deals, deal analysis, ARVs, comps, you know, anything you may need in your business. And then of course, all the contracts and resources and all the access to the courses that I typically charge anywhere from 300 to a thousand dollars a piece. For each of these courses, you get access to all that stuff, guys. So just wanted to drop that in. And if you guys want more information, click that link. Um, I'm probably going to have that licensing fee, that sign-up fee set up within the next, I'm hoping probably by the end of the week, maybe Thursday or Friday. So don't hesitate. Join today. We'd love to be working with you guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's open it up for a Q&A, guys. It's 12, what time is it? 6.28. We've got about 10 more minutes before I got to go meet the wife for dinner. And I'd be happy to answer some questions for you guys along the way. Um, and again, I'm really happy to have you guys here today. Thank you for attending. Looks like we got people from all over the country, which is really, really cool. It's really awesome. All right. So we have, uh, do you have a contract to give us? Yes, I do have a contract to give you guys. If you guys head on over to discountpropertyinvestor.com, drop the link right here. I'm going to click the link just to make sure it works. I just dropped it into the chat. If you go on over to discountpropertyinvestor.com, uh-oh, doesn't look like my site's working right now. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. Just need to reset the server here, guys. Over on my website, I have, um, in the resources area, I have, oh, it is working now. Oh. Some issues. I'm going to have to reset my server, guys, but it's working. So go on over to discountpropertyinvestor.com. In the resources area, I have an example contract, simple one-page contract that you can use. Additionally, for anybody that is in the um, Start Flipping Deals program, the Affordable REI, we have a contract generator that we are going to, um, that you guys can use as well. And that will allow you guys to actually generate contracts in real time from your phone, from your computer, from your iPad. And you can generate these contracts in less than three minutes and actually send them to yourself. So you can print them out and get them signed, or you can then drop them into any e-sign platform that you want. And that contract that we use over there is a contract that I have personally used over 500 times to buy properties. 500 times. So it is a great contract. It works. It has CYA clauses. It has you know, lots of different outs in the event that you're not able to help that seller out, like we mentioned earlier, and uh, is very, very simple. I think it's a two page contract. So, you know, definitely don't want to overthink this, guys. But yes, you have the ability to check that out. Uh, head on over to discountpropertyinvestor.com. All right, Jake says, Love you, Dave. Join a wholesale and virtual wholesale course next week. Hell yeah, Jake. I love it. I actually just talked to Lauren earlier today. And me and her are putting together something special for you guys here in the next uh, couple of weeks. So it's going to be kind of cool to uh, to present that to you guys. Not ready today, but it'll be something next week. Ryan says, I'll be signing up today. Hell yeah, Ryan. We're happy to work with you. Um, this is this is kind of a no-brainer, in my opinion, guys. I mean, you're talking 100 bucks 
to 100 bucks a month, you get access to, I don't know, seven, eight courses, give or take. It's probably about five or six grand worth of value. And of course, there is a private community and the ability, you know, to ask your questions um, on top of live coaching calls in the evenings. And we're doing this because we want to help a thousand people, guys. I think I'm at maybe 80 right now. So I got a lot to go. I got 920 people that I want to help get their first deal. And this is how you guys can do it. You can sign up here. Additionally, guys, I love joint venturing with my students. And I love buying deals off of them, assuming they're local. You know, um, sometimes we'll even buy a deal off of somebody that's not local. And then we'll turn around and fix it and flip it or just sell it. Or I love partnering with my students too. So all of these things are options and they're on the table. It's obviously going to depend on what the deal looks like, of course. But uh, we love helping our students, you know, learn how to get involved, learn how to get that marketing machine created, learn how to get their business put together. You know, if they want to create an LLC or something along those lines, we can definitely help them with those as well. You know, setting up the different accounts, what CRMs to use, what contracts to use, how to talk to sellers and how to negotiate and, you know, just how to get deals done. Guys, we're doing multiple deals. I think we've done three deals this month. Sorry, this week already. And it's Tuesday. Three. We love doing deals. Tons of them. And again, my goal is to help as many people as I can. And I want to make it affordable. Hence the name, guys. Affordable REI. So I don't even think that website's set up yet. But by Friday, it should be. We're going to have that licensing fee to join. So guys, don't miss out. Join before then so you can avoid it. It's 100 bucks. And last but not least, guys, I'm going to guarantee this for everybody. So let me share my screen just one more time. And then we'll take another question or two. And then we can wrap it up. Uh, Jeff says, can you cancel the subscription at any point if we feel confident enough to go off on our own? 100%. My goal isn't to bill you forever, man. It's, it's just, I got to make sure that people that are coming in are going to, you know, take action. And if, and if you offer something for free to somebody, they're not going to take action. So that's the whole purpose of this. But yes, Jeff, hundred percent, you can leave at any time. There is no contracts or long-term commitments and check this out, guys, all this for less than hundred bucks a month. And if you're not satisfied and you have gone through the courses and taken action, I'm going to give you 100% of your money back. Some people think that this is a crazy thing for me to present to people, you know, and uh, I'm happy to do so because I'm that confident that it's going to be worth every single penny. So this is basically a zero risk coaching program, and it's less than 100 bucks a month, assuming you guys sign up before Friday, and then it'll probably be three to 500 to join and then 100 a month beyond that. So we'll save you guys a little bit of money, which is awesome. All right, guys, let's take another question or two. And then I got to head out the door and go get a steak and some wine with my beautiful wife. One question that always made me hesitant to start. What do you do when you obtain a contract, but cannot find a buyer on the buy or the buyer bails? Great question. So remember earlier when I was talking about mindset and our goal was to help the seller and we're going to do everything in our power to help the seller sell the deal. And hopefully we can make a big spread in the middle. But really the goal should be to help the seller, not to make money. The money follows. If you create value for the seller, you will be paid and often very, very handsomely. Okay. But you need to just focus on helping the seller. We get paid by solving problems for people. So your question was, what do you do when you obtain a contract but cannot find a buyer or the buyer bails. Well, then you tell the seller that you did everything in your power to find a partner, to get the financing, to help them, and to buy this deal from them. But either the price wasn't good enough for you and your partners to make it happen, or you didn't have enough time. So you would love to continue to try to help them at no cost, but you're either gonna need a price reduction, you're gonna need more time, or often I ask for both and then you go and you get back to work and you do more marketing and you offer to keep helping the seller. That's it. That's the answer. Don't overthink this, guys. We are trying to help people. We are trying to focus on helping people and we're going to get paid by doing so. Don't focus on the money. Trust me. Help, focus on helping people because then if this does happen, you're not necessarily going back to them, you know, thinking, oh man, I failed this person. You didn't fail anybody. 
you did everything you could to try to help and you should be proud of that. So hopefully that answers your question there, Jake. That's a, that is a fantastic question, man. I'm going to give that a thumbs up. I like that. All right. So let's see here. Was that the last one here? That was this one here. Contract cannot find a buyer. That was this one. What is your opinion of seller transparency? Lots of deals of mine got canceled because seller didn't like it when they found out I was wholesaling and not buying. So, you know, that's another great question, Jake. What I like to do is I like to just tell my seller, you know, here, here's the thing. This is the honest truth. I just told you guys that I buy a hundred houses a year with my partner in my business. That's a fact. So I tell that to sellers as well too. I say, listen, you know, me and my, and my team, we buy about a hundred houses a year. And I wish I had like 15 or $20 million to be able to, to pay for all of these. But the way that I'm able to buy so many is because I partner with a lot of people. Remember earlier I was saying there are no competitors. Everybody's a strategic partner starting to kind of come together, hopefully. Well, I partner with a lot of people. And sometimes people, you know, will, will want the deal for themselves and I just get out of the way. Other times me and that partner, that person will buy it together. Other times I'll buy it and they'll lend me the money. But in order for me to do the number of deals that I'm going to do, or in order to do this deal right now, because all my other money is tied up, I have to bring a partner in. But don't worry because I do this a lot and I'm really good at it. And you guys can say the exact same thing. You don't have to mention anything about 100 houses. Just say you do it a lot. You know a lot of other investors, which you can meet easily on Facebook or at RIA groups and make friends with these people. And they will be your strategic partners. They will be your cash buyers. So another great question, but don't let that hold you back. Sometimes deals get canceled. Sometimes I have to cancel directly with the seller because I learn about something new at the last minute that makes it go from a good deal to a not so good deal. So I have to exit. But, but guess what? I do the same thing I did a minute ago where I say, here's the reason why I couldn't line up the financing or I couldn't find the buyer because hopefully you guys know what I'm going to say. It wasn't a good enough price or I didn't have enough time to, to get it done. So can I have a better price, more time, or again, my personal favorite, maybe I can get both. Maybe you can give me a little price discount and another week or two to get this done. And guys, I'm gonna do everything in my power to help. So I'm not gonna have to worry about feeling guilty if I can't because I gave it my best and I gave it my all. This is the mindset that breaks people free of not doing deals and then they, they get started, all right? Start flipping deals with me, guys. This is what it's all about. I'm going to drop this link into the chat one more time. I hear my wife just walked in the door, so I want to go give her a big hug and kiss and take her out to dinner, so we got time for one more question, guys. So the contract will be written in a way that protects me as a wholesaler and doesn't leave the house in my hands. Yeah, 100% it will, Jake or Jeff. 100%. I'll give you a thumbs up on that one, too. Great question. 100% it will. The contract basically gives you the ability to buy, but not the obligation to. That's basically what an option contract is in general. But the purchase and sale contract that we use is very similar because in that contract, it, st it states that before we close, we have to have our partner's approval, which could be anybody, right? It also states that I have the ability to go do a final walkthrough. And if I decide not to go do that final walkthrough, then I haven't fulfilled the contract or they haven't fulfilled the contract and I'm not obligated to buy. Guys, I've been doing this for 18 years and I've never once had a seller try to get all butthurt or upset or sue me because I didn't buy. I do everything in my power to help people. They know it. I know it. They can see it. They can feel it just like you guys are right now. So if you have that same mindset, like I just want to help you and it doesn't work out, hey, it's not the end of the world. You gave it your all. So do those two things like I mentioned though. Ask them for more time, ask them for a better price, and hopefully you can still help that seller out. I love it. All right, guys, click the link, join the program, start flipping deals, affordable REI. We're waiving the sign-up fee today. It's only a hundred bucks. Not only is it only a hundred bucks, guys, if you're not a hundred percent satisfied and you've gone through the courses and you've taken action, We'll give you all your money back. So guys, this is a no brainer. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you, Jake. Thanks guys for watching. And with that, we're going to be signing off. Have a great night, guys. We'll do this every single week. So stay tuned for more as well. All right, guys. See ya. Thanks.